Hey everyone, Solar Punk Steve here. And today I wanted to share with you what it cost me to start my fully electric lawn care business. Two hundred twelve thousand twelve thousand three hundred and sixty-eight dollars and twenty-four cents. I didn't want to wait till the end to give you guys the money shot because the specific dollar amount, it is important, but it's also really important to learn how to estimate properly for your business and also not blow your money on the wrong thing. It's an expensive mess. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about business and how you might be able to get up to $1,300 towards starting any business, hang out for a few minutes. It might just be worth $100 a minute. This. There's a little estimate I wrote sitting in a coffee shop long before I ever started my lawn care business. Let's check out how I did. $12,250. That's $118.24 wrong compared to what I actually spent on my business. Not bad considering it's my first time, but the problem wasn't really the dollar amount, it's with what I spent money on and a couple little other mistakes. So hopefully you can learn from these mistakes that I made. I'll show you. I would consider this very back of the napkin type of estimating I did, but I knew I didn't want to spend $1,300 for Tesla to install the tow hitch when I could do it myself. And then I put down some prices for the mower that I'm sitting on, the string trimmer, edger, and push mower, blower, and then I thought about getting a brush as well. I figured the LLC might cost a hundred bucks or so. Uh, the trailer, since I was borrowing it, I didn't have any estimate for what I might spend on it. Um, and then the solar panels, inverter, and storage battery, these are super ballpark figures since I didn't know what equipment would fit and what I needed. The recurring stuff, I kind of thought I might need something like Jobber to manage clients, electricity for the car and equipment, uh, insurance, marblades, and just miscellaneous things. Okay, let's have a look at my actual spend. Right at the top here, budget goal, that $12,250, that came from the coffee shop estimate that you just saw. Then the total estimated budget at $12,368.24, that's my actual spend. So I went and added up all my receipts. That's what gets me that $118 over my coffee shop estimate. Up at the top, I put all my equipment in here. You'll see though, the mower is not $5,500, and that's because I did not add in sales tax to my estimate, which in Florida is 7%. Now, to be clear, I knew there would be sales tax on things that I'm buying, but I should have put it in my estimate because when you're spending thousands of dollars, just a couple percent adds up pretty quick. And that was true for all the equipment here. One thing I overlooked was the mower only comes with four batteries. I recognized early on that I needed as much capacity as possible, so I had to go out and buy two 10 amp hour batteries, and those were about $500 each. So that brings in another $1,000, quite a big difference. Then that borrowed trailer, turns out, wasn't so free. The axle was bent. I wanted to add brakes. I had to add an aluminum ramp to the back. Uh, I painted it myself, a bunch of other little miscellaneous things totaled up to just over $1,300. So again, I should have thought about that a little bit more. Still much better than going out and buying a brand new enclosed trailer. Then I didn't need to do this, but I got the trailer wrapped with my logo and phone number, all that stuff. That was almost $700 to do the two sides and the back doors. This one's actually pretty close. The Tesla tow hitch at $618, uh, but that took a lot of time. Then the LLC registration, $125. I ended up getting a certified copy and a certificate of status. Stuff I didn't really need, but I wanted anyway. And then I got a fictitious business name or doing business as name on top of that. So those three was $120 more than I estimated. Uh, website domain, pretty cheap, but then the hosting service is pretty expensive to have a website. That's a yearly cost, but I put it in my startup cost rather than a recurring one, just because it's easier to think about it when you're starting the business. You're gonna have to spend that money straight away. The shirts I'm wearing, boots, hat, things like that, uh, all to make me look like I know what I'm doing, <laughs> was about 230 bucks. So that's just over 12 grand for all the equipment. Then the recurring costs I put in here, insurance, electricity for the equipment and vehicle. Now I leave plenty of blank spaces here. So if you had your rent in here, you could put that in whatever that might be. And that'll just add to your total because this is showing what you will spend every month. 
and you know that when you first start you're not going to be making money straight away or at least not enough to cover everything so here is a good way of estimating how much extra cash you might need to hold you over until your business is pulling in enough money to cover at the bare minimum your recurring costs and you can easily change that here with just changing the estimated months at a loss so put it in you know three months or something and then wow okay that jumped up to five thousand dollars you need to have on hand so how much runway do you need all depends on your situation and how much money you're spending every month. You can also change the padding for each expense. So if I had done that earlier and put in, let's say 10%, that would have been much safer for me to go with estimating for my expenses. But of course I didn't do that. So there's something wrong here, right? There's no solar panels, battery or inverter on this sheet. Well. That's because I ended up spending all this money just to get the equipment. I decided to start with what I had, which was a good thing too. I didn't need all that extra capacity. And only when my week built up to taking on clients every day of the week, did I decide to invest in the solar and battery and inverter storage on board the trailer. But there is some good news. I managed to find a way to get $1,050 back towards starting my business by hardly doing anything. That was with a credit card. So I shopped around when I was starting my business and found a credit card offering a deal. So if I spent $6,000 in the first three months, I could get $750 back. And that was pretty easy since the mower that I'm sitting on was almost $6,000 already. In conjunction with that, I got a checking account that would give $300 back if I spent money on the debit card in the first three months. So pretty simple there. And that was all through Chase Bank. So the credit card is the Inc. Business Unlimited. Um, they actually have one right now where the credit card is up to $1,000, but I think that costs $200 per year for that card. So up to you what you wanna go with, what fits your needs. I'm not sponsored or anything by Chase. It's just what I found when I was looking at starting my business. But if you want, there will be a referral link in the description where you can sign up for a Chase uh, business credit card or checking account. And that would be super cool. I would get some bonus points back. No pressure to do whatever you want search around, you might want to go with a credit union. Let's put that in the spreadsheet so we see what it looks like then. Let's do negative $750, because that's what I got back. Checking account, negative $300, because I got that back as well. So that brings the startup budget down by $1,050. So technically I was under budget by about $930. And if you had gotten the $1,000 credit card deal, I would have been under budget by almost $1,200. That's pretty sweet. So if you know you're gonna be spending a big chunk of money to start your business, it's worth hunting for these deals. The other thing is there might be state incentives or county incentives. When I looked in my area in Florida, I didn't find anything, but it doesn't mean that there isn't something for you. For instance, California is offering incentives for those looking to start a fully electric lawn care business or make the switch to a fully electric lawn care business. And also the federal government is offering tax incentives for purchasing electric lawnmowers. I think there's some stipulations on having a 7.5 kilowatt hour storage battery, which this one would not qualify for bit of a bummer, but they are out there and it's up to you guys to figure that out. Talk with your tax professional, those sorts of things. That's beyond the scope of this video, but I wanted to include that so that you guys know to look out for those. Even though the solar panels and batteries are not included in this estimate that I'm showing you guys, uh, if you were starting a business or even just for your own home, there's a federal tax credit of 30% for solar and storage batteries for your house or business. Now the trailer is a bit of a gray area. I did not claim any 30% tax credit for this because it's mobile, um, but talk with your tax professional again to figure the, all that out. If you're interested in using this spreadsheet for yourself to estimate for your business, it's available on my website, solarpunksteve.com. Just go up to the top, hit file, make a copy, and that will save it to your Google Drive. There you can keep up with all my projects that I'm working on. Um, I'm slowly adding information as I go, so keep an eye on that. As I mentioned in the beginning, this was just what I did to start my business. You guys might have a different scenario in different locations, have different rules and regulations, so make sure you're checking out those in your area. If there's something I forgot that you noticed, let me know in the comments and I'll pin it to the top. 
This isn't everything I'm using in my business right now. If you guys want to see all the equipment I'm using, including all the landscaping stuff, you can check out the video that I made on that. That'll be linked right up here. You might find that you don't need a riding lawnmower to start with. Maybe you have really small properties. You don't need to spend $6,000 or more on an electric lawnmower. You can start out with a push mower. That's totally up to you guys figuring out what your situation is. Um, I just wanted to share the things I learned starting my business, how much money I spent, and mistakes kind of a thing so that you guys can learn from them. I hope this was helpful to you guys and please make sure to subscribe because I will be going over all these solar panel costs in another video soon. Also, just let me know if you're starting your own business, uh, whether it's electric lawn care or something different, I'd love to hear about it and I'm sure others would too. All right, I will see you on the next screen.